What is dressage, I hear you ask? Well, dressage is one of the three Olympic equestrian sports and the other two are eventing and show jumping. After the London 2012 Olympics, the public started to refer to dressage as dancing horses and they're not too far off. But the word dressage actually comes from the French word dresseur, which means training. The sport involves showing off a horse's training by performing a set of prescribed movements in front of a panel of judges. Dressage is all about the rider working in harmony with their horse, developing suppleness, flexibility, obedience and athleticism. Dressage as a concept dates back to 350 AD and it has its roots in battle. A better trained horse would be more effective and efficient on the battlefield. Over time, this developed into a way of demonstrating horsemanship, as well as the relationship between horse and rider. So what do horses and riders have to do in a dressage test today? They must perform certain movements, easier ones at the lower levels and very challenging ones once you reach Grand Prix level. Each of those movements is scored out of 10 by a number of judges, up to seven at Olympic level, who are seated at different positions around the arena. Some particularly difficult movements receive double marks and the rider's skill is also marked. The total marks are then converted into a percentage score for the combination. The higher, the better. At major championships, such as the Olympic Games, competitors perform a standard Grand Prix test followed by another, even more difficult test, which is known as the Grand Prix Special. At top competitions, including the Olympics, the very best combinations also perform a Grand Prix freestyle test to music. For this, the rider performs a floor plan of their own design, set to music, which is professionally produced and choreographed specifically for the horse in question. The rider must include certain movements, but can design the programme to best suit their horse's particular strengths. Both the technical elements and the music are marked by the judges and combined to form the final score. Dressage done well is not at all unkind to horses. The point of dressage is to demonstrate harmony and trust between horse and rider, which is achieved using correct, gentle training. The FEI, which is the international governing body of horse sport, has rules in place to ensure that any training methods that could compromise horse welfare are not permitted. They also have stewards to ensure horses' welfare is maintained at all times during competition. Is it easier or safer than other equestrian sports, say show jumping and eventing? No, it's not easier. Dressage demands a very high degree of core strength and body control from both horse and rider, as well as meticulous attention to detail. Falls of horse or rider are more common in jumping disciplines, but any sport that involves working with horses comes with a certain level of risk. However, with proper training and using correct, up-to-date safety equipment, serious accidents while doing dressage are relatively rare. Have you seen dressage taking place? Did you catch it on TV during the London Olympics? Or were you even in the stands at Greenwich in 2012? We would love to know what your favourite memories are of seeing dressage, so let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.